Hello everyone, uh, we are back again with the uh, next episode, episode of our Coffee with SKV and today we are at uh, the Sanova Premier uh, which is a beautiful uh, property of the group at uh, Greater Noida West and uh, today our guest uh, of honor is uh, Mr. Praj Panda, he is the general manager of the property for uh, I think almost about two years now. Uh, slightly over two years. Now. Over two years now. So we will start with your uh, professional journey, uh, Mr. Panda. Uh, just tell us uh, how you landed up in uh, the hospitality industry. It was by accident, or you had planned for it, or some motivation. What was the reason for you to join uh, the industry? Right, thank you. Thank you, first of all, for uh, organizing this session uh, with me. To start off with, I think uh, uh, back in our era, we were not very clear that what we wanted to do. So uh, I, I was uh, with Kendra Vidalia for my time at Luth and then uh, followed that means uh, uh, from the science background, engineering and uh, doctor, these were the two professions which were right. really right. been preferred. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately for me, means uh, uh, I could not venture out in any of these professions. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, was, I was looking through various articles that what all uh, options are available. Mm -hmm. And uh, suddenly, it was like uh, this. Uh, there was a, a college uh, advertisement, uh, half a page okay. advertisement, uh, which was very good for the Kerala, and uh, uh, it was about the hotel management. Mm -hmm. So, one of my distance cousin, he was working yeah. in uh, hotels. Somebody is always there. Absolutely. It is, yeah, when, so more, more than the suggestions, was like I, I think it was uh, 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 back in uh, 2019, 98, mm -hmm. uh, when I passed out from IPL. Uh, uh, that time, we were not having lots of branded. Uh, stuff with us. Right. So he always used to carry uh, lots of imported uh, okay. perfumes, uh, <laughs> you know, shoes, right. uh, apples mm -hmm. and uh, I was always attracted towards right. uh, his lifestyle. Right. So I thought means why not to uh, look into this and uh, uh, parents were initially not uh, very happy about it but I think uh, everyone surrendered and then I started uh, my hotel journey in 1998. I passed out in 2001 and uh, uh, start looking out for the job. I started from the grassroots level of. So official. this college you have. It it yeah. is the Oriental School of Hotel Management. It's in Why not? Why not? in Kerala. Why not was uh, very very, very yes, difficult. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is uh, one of the most uh, uh, you know uh, it, it records uh, the highest screen, second mm -hmm. highest screen area mm -hmm. in uh, India. Mm -hmm. uh, the college, um, the Oriental School of Hotel Management, was the first college in that region, and uh, over the period of time, another uh, within another 10, 15 years, I think there are lots of uh, engineering doctorate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, also. Other other streams like uh, there is an MBBS college, there is a veterinary uh, uh, college too, and uh, passing out from there, uh, started looking out for the options in the management training and. Uh, uh, they were very particular in terms of picking up the management training and uh, the two management training program which uh, I was selected for one was the other the castle, the other one was uh, uh, Mahindra's uh, <coughs> management training program was there but I thought to start off uh, from uh, the premium portal so I started working with the ITC then ITC yes, uh, the uh, ITC Sake uh, which is presently known as the uh, Shadow right. Sakit. I started as operation training mm -hmm. and then uh, through ranks and files uh, over the period of uh, ES uh, 2016, I was again absorbed by IDC as uh, the general manager for one of the hotel and was mm -hmm. there. And uh, I, after that, I started uh, with the Sarawa. Uh, this is my so in between which of which other brands you have worked for? So, uh, uh, unless you know, I uh, I was from the food and beverage, so I started uh, uh, where I was getting a better restaurant or you know um, a different uh, uh, concept where I can form my skills. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started with IDC, then I moved to uh, Intercontinental Degree and the present Lalit. Uh, I was there for three years. Uh, from there, I got an opportunity to work in Middle East. Uh, for the Royal Locket restaurant, um, very, very fine dining, premium restaurant for Chinese and Thai. Mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, from there to United Kingdom okay. uh, for uh, one of the uh, restaurants in Leicestershire. Okay. Uh, in between, a uh, couple of other assignments were there. Uh, one was in Switzerland, one was in uh, France, and then uh, me and my wife decided to come back to India. Mm -hmm. uh, 2009, um, after the decision, we uh, uh, we came back to India and then I started with Imperial then. Okay. I was uh, I was absorbed by the Imperial, thank you, uh, you know, because that time 
it was pretty tough in terms of getting the job uh, soon after the recession. Right. right. So I I was the uh, manager for the spice room. Mm -hmm. uh, from Imperial, then uh, the second one was the Radisson Dwarka. I did two Radissons. One was the Radisson uh, Dwarka, the second one uh, was the uh, Radisson uh, Great and Noida. And uh, from there, uh, ITC and uh, yeah, the so. present uh, Sarva. Uh, Sarva presently means uh, Sarva is a part of the Loop Group and uh, it carries over 128 hotels. Uh, and uh, it's, it is having a, one of the very strong pipeline too. Mm -hmm. so, so almost about two and a half year, decades of uh, your working absolutely. with data. Yes, yes. So you are enjoying it, I am sure, because the way yes. you Absolutely. Yes. You know, uh, the life is all about the ups and downs kind of a thing. Right. Uh, they, they have been very, uh, uh, at various places, uh, you are actually blank, you don't know means where your career is moving. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be very honest, when I started my career, means I was always thinking that if I become a restaurant manager, I think, mm -hmm. uh, when I asked what do you want to be, means if someone would have asked me what I wanted to be, I would have uh, happily said that, okay, if I am the restaurant manager, I think uh, my goals are achieved. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I never thought of that I'll be reached to right. this level. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, many, many uh, uh, occasions, like I was the uh, restaurant manager when I was working in uh, Dubai. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got an opportunity in uh, uh, United Kingdom, I was the, uh, I was absorbed as a captain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. ups and downs were always there. But then when I started back in India, I was again the assistant manager. So after and downs, it was always there from uh, the premium five star hotels, the luxury collection hotels to uh, you know uh, up upscale hotels. Sometimes uh, there were hotel uh, which was not very uh, upbeat okay. hotels, but then you know you you get to learn a lot out of these hotels. Yeah, different right? segments, absolutely, different absolutely. challenges, and different things. Right. Okay. So what what was the kind of change you see since you started uh, in two thousand and three? Yes. So from that time now, what what are the ch kind of changes you see in the hospitality industry? Are there many challenges or it is? The challenges, uh, see I think uh, uh, if, I, if I go back, uh, the challenges were always there when mm -hmm. the hospitality industry. Uh, challenges were back then as well when uh, we were to, uh, we were absorbed by the hotel right. uh, in terms of finding out the right candidate. And uh, I remember uh, one of uh, very senior general manager is that it's not that uh, uh, we don't have the vacancies, but we are not getting the right people. Right. At, at that time, I was uh, not even a captain; I was uh, mm -hmm. still a waiter only. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that uh, what what is the requirement in terms of uh, to be that right. professional that he is looking out for? But then uh, you know. Challenges were there, mm -hmm. but obviously in today's uh, generation, the challenges are slightly high uh, because uh, the young kids uh, they they are very uh, open about it. They share their experiences. Right. In our time, when, uh, suppose if we are not happy, uh, uh, if, if I say that uh, um, uh, if there were hundred people and if everyone is not happy working mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. right, or whoever was having um, uh, their condition in terms of you know they have to earn the bread for their family. There were two or three people they will be taking a risk in terms of leaving the hotels and start looking out the job. A couple of friends they they have moved out of the hotels, someone right. is in the baby or someone is in uh, is into the IT sector or someone is uh, in fact have uh, joined defense. Mm -hmm. Right. So people have ventured out that okay, no, there's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can say that that ratio was uh, only two to three percent where people were dropping out. Mm -hmm. In today's rate, suppose if people don't get that environment, you can easily see that uh, that ratio has gone up to. Okay. Well, obviously, because you don't get the people, you mm -hmm. were not getting the people then as well. Mm -hmm. But now that ratio has gone up to 20, 30 percent. Okay. People like to take the rest. They want to okay, fine, take a hotel management mm -hmm. career. Malab, it is not yeah. the end of the world. Right. I know um, uh, uh, when I was working uh, in, in my last organization, we were having a management training program. So. Uh, with the premium hotels management training programs out of 30, 35, 40 mm -hmm. uh, uh, intakes, by the end of the management training program, there were only 15. Okay. Means yeah. that, that is the case where the people mm -hmm. are into the management training program. Think about the case where the person is joining from the grass to level. Absolutely, absolutely. So challenges were there. Yeah, challenges were there. Mm -hmm. Right. And our time is obviously that length is shared. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, over here only. But uh, uh, I think the environment which we were getting. You know the uh, support of uh, the fellow colleagues mm -hmm. or the immediate supervisor 
I think that was slightly more better. Okay. So, uh, irrespective of whatever the working conditions were, they will take you, they will do the counselling. Maybe that's uh, that that uh, supervisory and the management, mm -hmm. they need to slightly work on to this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, tell us for uh, all the time. Yes. And uh, for uh, taking the new uh, uh, candidates in, what is your preference? You go to the best of the institute to interview the candidates or you get a mix of uh, the candidates like from mid-segment uh, colleges right. and from high so, high so I'll be, I'll be, I'll be very honest about it. So uh, even the uh, entry level mm -hmm. stuff, that, yes. is, that is not available at all. Okay. Okay. So a general manager or a, a HOD that have to, you know, they, they have to understand this thing. Mm -hmm. It's really a scarcity to get this. It is, it is. The premium colleges, mm -hmm. if you are talking about, mm -hmm. the premium colleges if you are talking about, uh, I have been to a couple of colleges, I will not name them, but uh, they are very clear, okay, you know, our first preference is to get into the management mm -hmm. training okay. level, okay. Uh, out of that college, as well, some of the people would move, move into the different directions. Right. Yes, they would right. uh, move into the different directions. Uh, someone would go to the uh, uh, mall, someone would go to the airports, yeah, someone would uh, go to the duty yes. Right. Yeah. someone would uh, enter with the BPOs. Yeah. Uh, so that options are there. Yeah. And uh, so uh, their first preference is that one. Mm -hmm. We know that, okay, that is uh, getting a, a student. Mm -hmm. In fact, forget about a three year diploma or a degree. If you, yeah, if you get year. even a one, one and a half year, mm -hmm. in our time we used to call it as a food craft institute, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, apprentice program mm -hmm. or a one and a half year diploma program which was there. Uh, if you get that, that means you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least the person knows the basic. Yeah. To help us, obviously there are different PHSs there mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's a job plus, uh, uh, there's another, uh, there is a, another uh, organization which uh, pick people and then mm -hmm. they give the initial training and then Achim. they give it to the group. Even so, if they are not from Achim. any Asian college. Correct. Okay. So uh, the criteria is only the person should be 12th pass. Right. By 12th, most of the people they are over 18 and then they are legal to work. Right. So legal compliance is uh, very right, much right, important right. Uh, that we have to take care of that uh, the person should be 18 plus. And obviously suppose if the person is having the attitude, right attitude, mm -hmm. that means he can work and go to. Absolutely. Long back, when when Obras were picking uh, their management training program, I I uh, clearly remember that the criteria was not to pick up the people from the Bodhi Management Institute only. Mm -hmm. The person should be graduate. Then, okay. if the person is graduate, then he can be they yes, they, he, he, he they can be trained to get into mm -hmm. uh, this thing. So I think uh, what Obras did long back, mm -hmm. uh, rest of the hotels are as far as we know. Okay. Right. Okay. And now uh, the kind of location you have at uh, Greater Noida based, I don't think there are many uh, competitive hotels in this area. Are they? I don't think so. So, uh, you know, it's looking from the outside, okay, there, is, there are no hotels. Uh, uh, yes, there are no hotels. But at the same time, uh, you know, uh, fetching out the business is again a difficult task because uh, there are no industries too. Hmm. Okay. There are no hotels is okay. There's one thing. Suppose you are, you are, you are uh, at the top of Himalaya, you are sitting, there is no hotel. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there is no other people yeah, you are getting in. Right. So, we are into a very busy segment. Uh, mm -hmm. means, uh, we have approximately, we have into the boss city, we have 50,000 uh, okay. flats, which is in and okay. around the hotel. Right. right. But at the same time, means, uh, 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 the market has started, you know, uh, they, they have accepted the hotel. Okay. okay. Uh, the food and beverage is still. And there is uh, uh, one of the things which we always try to uh, give a better food and beverage uh, to the market. But at the end of the day, uh, no hotels plus no business. So getting the business, then you have to reach out to the area where there are already, yes. already right. hotels. So suppose if I talk about 10 kilometers this side or the 10 kilometers other side, we have the Ghazi on the one side, we have the Greater Noida, actual Greater Noida, which is like Pari Chowk and uh, the business segment, uh, 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 so much more. Uh, the secretary and everything that is on the other side. Okay, so we are in a greater Nevada, but not in a greater Nevada. It is something like uh, you are on the outskirts yeah, of the Delhi waters. Right, okay, right. so uh, sometimes uh, we we have to keep on shuffling our uh, concept that uh, some part of the years of uh, concept becomes the first uh, Parichok side hotels. Mm -hmm. The other uh, part of the hotel uh, concept uh, season we, we we pick it up from the Ghaziabad side, 
and then there is a business segment which is not as 62, which is again uh, approximately 10 km. So, hotel is just right in the center, 10 km radius, there are set of hotels and the business as well. Okay. So, 20%, yes, you can say that okay, the local population support us, okay. but the rest of the 60% that the hotel is doing means the rest of the 60 to 65%, we give it, absolutely, we, absolutely. we, we, we take it up from okay. these areas. So, we have to be very, very, uh, you know, the penetration uh, uh, has to be very right, and at the same time, Goss, Goss uh, City 1 and 2 and uh, adjoining areas, the business city of Tech Zone, uh, which is around 4 kilometers, that is still uh, yet to come up. Uh, the business, uh, other and the mall operations and the other stuff, uh, I don't take it as a main business because they have contribute around 1.5% mm -hmm. uh, or 2% kind of a thing, but that is the contribution of the uh, mall segment. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the uh, corporate, mm -hmm. the corporate, main corporate, uh, that is going to take another two to three years, and by then I think there will be another. There, there is a fortune coming up. There is a IG that is coming up. coming up. Absolutely, and there is a Radisson uh, coming up. Radisson is very nearby. Uh, okay. That is of the same owners of it. So uh, all this. So all this area is, means coming up. This 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 area is coming. Uh, this area is coming up. And then both, have more from both perspective, yeah. from the from the perspective of uh, the residential areas too. Okay. Plus the business segment too. But the business segment is going to take slightly mm -hmm. longer time mm -hmm. because the offices uh, need to build up, yeah. uh, you know, uh, the infra has to come up right. into that place. Uh, uh, the tax zone, uh, which was actually mm -hmm. uh, had to be that IT sector, mm -hmm. that is uh, that is uh, not yet completed, mm -hmm. right? So uh, it's about okay. the same. Mm -hmm. So despite uh, having a competition, you're getting business of those hotels to this part. It's quite a, quite a task. Absolutely. I, I'll, uh, for this, I will, I will you know, uh, uh, give all the credit to over CST. CST. Right, CST. Right. And, and in fact, uh, with Saruba, what happens is the, uh, penetrate, the contribution uh, which is there from the RSO that is right. very high. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, if, we, if we talk about uh, the RSO's contribution for this hotel mm -hmm. and for the rest of the hotels is very high. Okay. So, uh, thanks to the RSO team and uh, our team. Because uh, it is their hard work, they have gone into those market, they have created that was, and the team has delivered as per the expectations right. of the guests, right? It is not uh, difficult to get a person for a one thing, mm -hmm. but to retain that, to retain that, to retain that, that is a big, big thing. Right. And I think team is uh, delivering. Uh, it's absolutely really a beautiful hotel. It does, it is in, indeed. Yeah, I think in the three years we've come thrice, and it's been a great place. And the segment of business-wise, I think 60 to 60 percent is your uh, corporate, or 60 percent is your uh, like So, business? you know, uh, uh, we we have a very different uh, mix. Uh, mm -hmm. I like most of the hotel where the contribution between the food and uh, beverage to the room, the mm -hmm. rooms are like on a high side. So we still have one set of the rooms that need to come up uh, that will make this hotel hundred plus. Uh, the mm -hmm. contribution of food and beverage is uh, 60 percent at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the 40% contribution which comes from the room, mm -hmm. or we have all the segment which is uh, helping us. Mm -hmm. And the 60% from the food and beverage, uh, around 15 to 17%, you can think of that corporate is responding. And corporate actually, they they uh, um, they like the players there, mm -hmm. the company which is which is associated with us. They've been associated more than two years with us, and um, obviously we are doing our uh, contact for the next year to go to the to visit financially. And I think. Uh, most of the company uh, we are going at it. Until mm -hmm. unless you know uh, the company's demand is uh, something which we are uh, not in a position to fulfill, or we are renewing all the contracts. Mm -hmm. But I believe even now it is the domestic market which is more absolutely. as compared absolutely. to the inbound is not picked up that. So, so that you know there is one of one of uh, the uh, transit business which is there which we have started doing, but uh, that was uh, lost uh, in between somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a series of people, they used to land down in Delhi. Uh, and rather than staying at the Air City Hotel, they were preparing Abba Hotel. Yeah, okay, and from here they will, they will go to Agra, from Agra okay. to Jaipur, mm -hmm. and Jaipur to Delhi. So, you know, um, uh, because uh, I think the travel agents, yeah, they, they, they have understood that, okay, if anyone stays in a Delhi Hotel, they have to cross through the Delhi traffic. Delhi traffic, okay. yeah. And the first night, suppose if, uh, the travelers, they have, uh, they, they are traveling 7 hours, 8 hours 
and till they travel for another two hours, at least then second journey, third journey, uh, or leaving so from it is a break from that. It is absolutely. Uh, so uh, some of the some uh, many travel agents they have started preferring the hotels towards the side, mm -hmm. and that completes their golden circle, golden right? Circle. right. Uh, golden triangle ah, actually, right. golden triangle. So uh, they do the Agra, they do mm -hmm. Jaipur, and then Vilasa they oh. do the Delhi, and then they depart just from there. Okay, it was a nice conversation and uh, any any uh, suggestion or uh, feedback you would like to give to the you know, motivational talk to the younger generation who would be joining the industry, what is your uh, take? What would you like to suggest to them? I think there's uh, uh, nothing, uh, nothing any really motivation kind of thing. So suppose if I talk about my circle story only, I started as a grassroots level and if I say, that okay, I my aim was to be a restaurant manager only. Okay, I come back. So I took approximately eight years uh, to become the full restaurant manager, with assistant manager, and the executive. So, so to actually reach the position of a restaurant manager, I took approximately slightly over eight years. Okay. Uh, in today's day, in eight years you can be a general manager. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. so means you can think of that. You know you have you have reduced on yeah. your journey from right. sixteen to uh, eight years over. So, uh, um, the first time when I was the general manager, I was 16 years in the industry, mm -hmm. so that was my first entry to the general manager. Now people can become the general manager within 8 years. Really? Okay. And if you have a management, uh, if, if you are from the uh, uh, management training program, uh, that can be further okay. reduced under okay. 1 or 2 years. Okay. Yeah, two years okay. And it depends upon the candidate also. Absolutely. So if you are passionate mm -hmm. about the industry and absolutely. you like what you are doing, then uh, I think the sky is the limit. And, and See, I mean, obviously, if you if you look into uh, the hard work, means uh, it's not the hard work over here. You actually, when you start speaking to the people who are from the IT sector, mm -hmm. who are from the engineering background, mm -hmm. who who are slightly more technical, uh, maybe uh, a foreman or someone who is required to do, so there is a scarcity all over. Mm -hmm. right? We, we generally get our uh, public area or the security staff. So there's a scarcity over there. There is different industry over there, but there's a scarcity over there. So people don't that thing. You know, people don't think that, okay, now they, they uh, have to go through all this thing. But there's a scarcity all over. Mm -hmm. So is the case of the reward as well. When what a person would take like 16 years to become a general manager has taken out, 8 mm -hmm. years to become a general manager. Earlier there were, you know, there's a general manager under 30, you know, his name mm -hmm. will flash and all the newspapers, magazines, mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, now, general manager under 30 is very, 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 very normal, mm -hmm. uh, normal mm -hmm. in our industry, very normal. And then I'm not talking only about, uh, as you just have to become a general manager of any other hotel. The luxury hotel, premium hotels, you can become the general manager. If not, the uh, metro city, means obviously the, big, uh, yeah. the second yeah. cities or the right. Resort location, you can right. you can become the general manager very easily. Uh, you can become the hotel manager under thirty. Okay. Why so did you have the passion? Mm -hmm. you, you have to have a passion. Absolutely. 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 Okay. So it was a pleasure talking to you, and uh, we would like to wish you the best, very best for uh, your future uh, here with the Rover and wherever you go. Thank you. And thank you so uh, much. we thank you for uh, inviting us. It was a pleasure being at the hotel. Also, we've really enjoyed this day. Thank you. So Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you.